Hello friends, I'm teacher Mariah and welcome to Circle Time Club with Home CEO Academy. Today I have a special double decker chocolate and strawberry ice cream with me, yum! And it has something to do with the theme of the week. Can you guess what it is? Let's begin. Let's check in with Lexi for today's Hello Song. Hello kids, today we'll be singing about our ice cream song while we do our Hello Song. Ice cream, ice cream, a yummy hello to you. Yummy, yummy, a hot summer day. Hello, hello, an ice cream, hello. Do you like ice cream? If you do, what's your favorite kind? If not, that's okay too. Goodbye, see you later. Friends, the song of the week is this one right here and it is called, Who Says Moo Moo? And this song is sung to the tune of The Muffin Man. So let's sing it together. Oh, do you know who says moo moo? Who says moo moo? Who says moo moo? Oh, do you know who says moo moo? The milk cow says moo moo. Oh, do you know who gives us milk? Who gives us milk? Who gives us milk? Oh, do you know who gives us milk? The milk cow gives us milk. It's that time of the week that we get to build our theme shelf and discover what our theme of the week is. So let's pull things from our mystery box here. I wonder what we have today. <gasps> Check out this book. It is called Cockadoodledoo Farm. So cute. Now this book, I'm going to open it up to a special page. This page right here. And if look on this page, it says the dairy cow says, I hear someone calling you. Could it be a rooster going cockadoodledoo? Hmm. Wonder what that cow has to do with our theme. Well, Let's build our theme shelf a bit more with this interesting item. This is a kind of a barn. And so we're gonna put it right here to keep that book open. Let's see what else Mystery Box has for us. Hmm, I see some cows, friends. Check this out. Lots of cows and even a bull. So let's just talk about this real quick. This is a cow and a cow is a female, a girl, and this is a bull and bulls are boy or male cows. So let's build a scene. Let's see, where are these cows gonna be hanging out? I think right there, maybe one by this door. Maybe we should even have one sort of coming outside of the barn. What do you think? Yeah, something like that. And then maybe, hmm. Maybe we'll have another one right here. So cute. We've got more friends. Okay, we've got, look, a big cow. Not just one, but two big cows. Now these cows are just made from some cutouts that we had in our curriculum library that we just put these clips on. And now because of that, we can just stand them up just like that and add to our theme shelf. So that's something I like to do sometimes. We Sometimes we put uh, stuffed animals, but we didn't have any stuffed animal cows, but no matter what your theme is, you can find something around the house to decorate it just for you. Now, the next things that we have are kind of cool. <gasps> Check it out, it's my ice cream, but it's not just one scoop. I can add another scoop of chocolate. I can even add, oh my goodness, a vanilla scoop, yum, yum, yum. Now this is fake, but I really do like the real uh, ice cream. And as you know, or don't know, ice cream is made from milk and milk comes from cows. So that's why we have it on our theme shelf. And another thing that comes from cows is this product here. This is an empty carton of half and half. It's half cream, 
half milk and that both come both those things come from cows and people put it in warm beverages your parents might put it in um, tea or coffee so we'll put that there and then last but not least I have some more cutouts here let's see what we have this right here is ice cream and so we'll put that let's put that by our ice cream there oops and we have yogurt do you eat yogurt yogurt comes in so many different flavors and it's so good for you it has probiotics in it and those are some very helpful um, things for your tummy and we have a carton of milk here as we know that is a critical thing that cows make for us and what's this do you know what this is cheese do you like cheese ah i love cheese cheese on pizza cheese and eggs cheese on uh, chicken parmesan i can think of so many ways to add cheese to dishes it's so good and it's even good by itself as well my favorite cheese is havarti what's your favorite cheese there's american cheese and cheddar cheese mozzarella cheese if you're not sure you can try different cheeses this week for cow's week and yes that's correct our theme of the week is indeed cows i'm sure you already figured it out and i really like my theme shop this week guys you did a great job helping me put this together now i can't wait to see what you create at your own home well it's time now to go on the other side of our theme shelf and start building our theme board. Thank you, friends. It's time now to build our theme board. It looks pretty bare right now. Let's add to it. We're gonna start with this header, which says animals on it. And we are in the middle of working through nine different animals themed weeks. And this week we are looking at cows. All of our activities have to do with cows. We've got some sentence cards here. Let's start with this one. Cows produce milk. You could also say cows make milk. Produce is another word that means make. So cows make milk or cows produce milk. And then we have, we use cow's milk to make dairy products like cheese, butter, yogurt, and ice cream. Do you eat cheese? What about butter? Or do you have yogurt? Do you like yogurt? Or even ice cream? All of these things are dairy products. And when you go to the grocery store with your parent or caregiver, you will see a dairy section in the grocery store and it has all of the products made by cows. It also includes in there some eggs, but as we know, those aren't made from cows. Those are made from chickens. But you can take a look next time and see what kind of cheeses you see, what kind of yogurts you see, what kind of flavors you see, and uh, I think that should be something you do this week. What do you think? Let's add up some different various cows flashcards. It was so fun putting these flashcards together, seeing this just enormous variety of cows that we have. This one here is probably one you're familiar with. It's that black and white cow you commonly see, and it's called a Holstein cow. Let's put her there. And here is an Ayrshire cow. This one is brown and white. And this one is a Jersey cow, and it's more of a beigey, kind of a creamish, brown, light brown color. And we're going to finish up our theme board by putting on our song of the week, which is Who Says Moo Moo, and it goes right there. Ta-da! Now, you could also add some of the other cutouts, like the various, I think we had cutouts of these things. You can stick that on your theme board, too. You can spruce up your theme board however you like it. This is how we like to do it. Anyhow. Now it's time for us to work on our wake up warm ups, so meet me at the desk. Let's look at some different breeds of cows Angus, Ayrshire, Brown Swiss, Guernsey, Heck, Holstein, Jersey, Murray Gray, Normand. This is also called Normandy in the U.S. Scottish Highland, Texas Longhorn, Watusi. Wake up, warm up. 
we have a game here and it's called spot a letter. So we have a cow here and she's got a lot of letters on her, but no spots. We need to give her some spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out a letter and then you are going to tell me where I need to put this spot so that I can cover up that letter. So for example, see here's the letter A. If I said, I spot the letter A, you have to put the palm on letter A. So here goes, got five palms. Do you spot the letter D? Look closely. There's the letter D. Do you spot the letter R? Hmm. I see the letter R here next to her udder here on her tummy. Do you spot the letter G? Point to it on your screen if you do. Very good. Here's the letter G. I spot the letter I. Point to the letter I. Did you find it? It's on her leg. I spot the letter, hmm, what should my last letter be? I spot the letter H. Do you see the letter H? That's right, here it is. Now you can play this multiple times and you can switch turns, somebody spots and somebody calls out the letters and you can cover your cow or just do five at a time. So try this game at home. Great job on your warm ups today. Well, it's time now to cozy up because teacher Ashley is going to read us a story. Today's book is The Cow Said Nay, a farm story by Rory Feek. There once was a cow in a barn who could see, a horse in a field who ran wild and free. If I were a horse, I could run free all day. And the cow opened his mouth and let out a big, Nay! Is that the sound a cow makes? The horse heard the cow and he looked in the pond at the duck with the bill who swam all day long. If I were a duck, bet they'd stay off my back. And the horse reared back and out came a quack. Do horses say quack? No. The duck heard the horse and he saw the sheep with a big winter coat two inches deep. If I were a sheep, that would be good. And the duck said, Bah! as loud as he could. The sheep heard the duck and he looked at the pig, using his nose in the deep mud to dig. If I were a pig, I could dig with my snout. And the sheep opened his mouth and an oink! came out. The pig heard the sheep and he looked in the yard at the dog on the porch who proudly stood guard. If I were a dog, I bet I could be tough. And the pig wiggled his tail and he let out a ruff. The dog is like, what? Just made that sound. The dog heard the pig and he looked in the house at the cat on the rug that was chasing a mouse. If I were a cat, I'd be inside right now. And the dog opened his mouth and let out a meow. The cat heard the dog and he left the mouse there and looked at the farmer asleep in his chair. If I were a man, oh, the places I'd go. 
And then the cow purred and let out a hello. The farmer opened his eyes when he heard the cat. And he thought to himself, did I really hear that? Then he walked to the barn and he opened the door and heard some more things he'd not heard before. The cow said, nay, and the horse said, quack. The duck said, bah, and the sheep said, oh, and the sheep oinked back. The pig said, Ruff, and the dog said, meow. As the cat and the farmer stood by the cow. Then the farmer smiled. What else could he do? But opened his mouth and let out a big moo. That was a silly book, wasn't it? All those confused confused farm animals. That was The Cow Said Nay, a farm story by Rory Feek. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today, for our directed drawing, we're doing the letter E elephant. So we have our letter E here, and we're going to go through each step to create this final picture. So let's start with step one. What's different from this picture to this picture? Hmm, this picture has kind of a weird closed blob here. That's the elephant ear. So we're gonna start here. Let's see, we'll start here. Come down, come around, and then kind of draw it like that. There we go. It's roughly like this picture. And let's look at step two. So in step two, we've added a trunk off the top part right here. So our trunk kind of looks like, let's see, kind of a curved line like that. We come down again, and we draw it back up here. Look at that. Okay, step three, what's different in this picture? We have three dots on this part and three dots on this part. So do one, two, three. And we'll do the same here. One, two, three. And then we have a circle with another circle inside of it. For the eye. So let's see, we want a circle with another circle inside of it, and the circle that's inside of it is colored in. Okay, what's step four show? What's different? We have an extra line added inside the ear, so we'll follow that line, there we go. And then we have some curved line on our trunk. Curved lines on the trunk. There we go. Ta-da! Here's my elephant. So to complete this picture, I would need to get the color gray to color the E around the outside of the ear and the trunk. And then the color pink to color the inside of the ear. Okay, so that was our letter craft directed drawing. And our two activities are, this first one is called Beginning Sounds. The directions say to color in the letter that matches the beginning sound for each image. So here we have a p -p pitchfork, hay, k -k cow, and t -t tractor. Okay, so we would listen for the sound p -p pitchfork and say, does it start with a Mm or O. Which one does it start with? It starts with a P, -p doesn't it? So then we color that part in. And you do the same for each of the other pictures. And this one says farm herd. How many of each animal do you see in the box? K, 
count and then write the number found on the line next to each animal. So first I would look at the picture here. I have a cow and I would see how many cows are over here. One, hmm, two, I have two cows. So right here on this line, I would write two. And then we would look for all the pigs, all the chicks, the goats, and the roosters inside this box right here. Okay, I hope you enjoy completing these three activities. Hello friends. Today we have a fun craft for you to complete with the help of your teacher or caregiver. This is a clothespin cow. To complete this craft you will need your template, colored or non-colored, a marker, some clothespins, scissors, and a glue stick. Here's what you'll do. So first, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut out your cow. You might need a little help with this because it's kind of hard to cut out every little piece. So you're going to cut out your cows and do not cut right here because that will make them unconnected. If you do that, you can just glue them back together. But it's easier if you don't cut it there. And then you, once you have them cut out, you can color them if you have the non-colored one. And then you'll take your glue stick and you'll glue them together. And then you'll take your clothespins and you'll put them on the legs so it looks like, so they can stand up that way. So I'm going to go work on mine and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Ta-da, here's my clothespin cow. You can write your name on the leg. You might need a little help because it's kind of small. You also might need to cut off the legs or cut them a little shorter so that way you can stick your clothespins on. So you can stand your cow up. I hope you enjoy this craft. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye! Friends, it's Play-Doh time. Today we are going to make cow spots using black Play-Doh. spots did we make? One, two, three, four, five. Five cow spots. Well done. Great job today at Circle Time Club. We had such a blast with you. I hope you had a blast as well. Now remember, when you go and do your activities, make them unique and special to you. We'd love to see them. Write to us sometime. From all of us here at Home CEO Academy, I hope you have an incredible rest of your week and we can't wait to see you again soon. Goodbye! Hey, you could be larger than life.